chances are you've probably seen this blue picture being shared on Instagram this past week. Well, that's because tens of thousands of Indonesians have been sharing the picture which shows emergency warning in Bahasa Indonesian with the country's national equal symbol. So what is going on in Indonesia? People in Indonesia have been holding huge protests across the country after the government tried to change the law to make it harder for opposition parties to nominate candidates for local elections. It all started on Wednesday, August 21st, when Indonesia's constitutional court made two rulings. One, it lowered the threshold for political parties to nominate candidates for the local elections from 20%. This means smaller parties can now propose candidates as they no longer need to hold 20% of seats in a regional legislature. And two, it also rejected a proposal to lower the age limit for candidates running for office and kept it at 30 years old. However, the next day, the Indonesian parliament, which is dominated by outgoing President Joko Widodo's party, tried to reverse these rulings. The parliament tried to raise the nomination threshold back to 20% again, which protesters said would weaken the opposition and block independent candidates from running. They include popular independent opposition candidate Anis Baswedan, a vocal government critic who was running for Jakarta governor. The parliament also tried to lower the age limit which would allow Widodo's 29-year-old youngest son to run for office. This move has been widely seen as an attempt by Widodo, popularly known as Jokowi, to extend his power and political influence and establish a political dynasty. Widodo is leaving office in October after serving the maximum of two five-year terms as president. Although popular throughout most of his time, Widodo was accused of nepotism after his oldest son, 36-year-old Gibran Hakabumin Kaka, was elected as the country's youngest vice president in February. Widodo has also been accused of helping to install Prabowo Subianto, a feared general who rebranded himself as a cute TikTok grandpa, as his replacement with his son. Protesters took to the streets across several cities, rallying against what they say is nepotism and the parliament's attempt to erode democracy. Faced with mounting pressure, the parliament eventually scrapped the plan to overturn the court's decision on Thursday, August 22nd. Registrations for local elections will begin on Tuesday, August 27th, so it appears unlikely that the parliament will be able to overturn the rulings before then. Follow for more stories from around the world.